Well, I am Noah Rostin, and I'm going to be showing you my first Galvanize project for front-end web development. So before Galvanize, I used to work as a chemical engineer in the oil and gas industry. And uh, in the oil and gas industry, they're very concentrated on safety because anytime there's an accident, then it's usually like a big explosion and maybe news newsworthy. So safety is a big thing. And a lot of the time, what I would do is calculate the size of um, what's called a pressure relief valve. And what a pressure re relief valve does is it will protect a tank from any overpressure scenario. So here is like a tank that could hold, hold oil and gas together, so liquids and gases, and the liquids sit on the bottom and then the gas fills up the rest of the tank. And if there was a fire um, below the tank, it would cause the liquids to boil off and overpressure this tank. And if the pressure got high enough, then the tank could explode um, or rupture. So what this pressure relief valve does is it relieves the pressure um, so the tank won't explode. And the pressure relief valve has to be uh, sized just right in order to protect the tank from overpressure. So this program um, could be used in the oil and gas industry to calculate um, the size of the pressure relief valve. So I'm now going to walk you through the program. Um, the first thing that that you would do is come over here and calculate the ER, sorry, enter the fluid properties um, for the program. So I'm just going to enter in one for each of these properties. Um, actually, I'll show you some error checking. So if I save it now and then I try to calculate the output, I get an error and it says air normal operating pressure is empty, which is right here. So if I um, edit that and put a one in there and then save it again, um, it gives me another error. Now it goes and checks the next empty box, Z factor at relieving temperature is empty. So I've got some error checking in there um, and I can save and edit it. When I edit it, go back and I'll just enter in one for the rest of these values um, right there, save it. Then I can come over here and enter in my vessel properties. And if I go back to my fluid prop properties, everything is all saved just as it was. So entering in vessel properties, I'll also just enter one, vessel name, horizontal, vessel orientation, horizontal, vessel diameter, one foot, length, one, one, and I'll save that. And now I can enter in properties for the PSV. And I'm just also going to enter in one um, for these. I'll save it. And then now all my input properties are all entered. So now I can calculate my output. So if I press calculate output, it brings me to this screen where I say the calculated orifice size is one. Now right now I just have it uh, hard coded. So it's going to output the, um, the fluid name, which is one. And then right here, it selects uh, the valve that's higher. So if the calculated orifice size is one, you would want a valve just bigger than that, so it selects 1.287 and highlights it. Um, if I go back to edit the fluid name to uh, say three and save it, and then I go calculate output, then it highlights the right one. Um, calculate or orifice size is three, and it's bigger than that. So that's basically the program, and then I added in. Um, commit history. So I'm pulling all this information from the GitHub API and um, I've got all of my different commits uh, throughout the program. So this is all from their GitHub a API. Um, and then this PSV calculator I'm pulling from local storage. So there it is. That is my first project. Um, this was all done in Canvas. And for styling, I used uh, Bootstrap. Thanks.